welcome to the new episode of multimedia practical in this session i am going to discuss about the first two tools from the tools panel so the first two tools are the first one that we have the selection tool and when you uh, open the flash right by default you will get this uh, the pointer right so it is basically a selection tool right through that you can select your object your elements right so maybe in one element there is a outline colors and we can say the multiple lines so the small uh, lines or the specific areas of those lines or you can say the fill color area so the specific area you can select it through the uh, selection tool and with the help of mouse pointer you can also change the position the next tool that we have is uh, sub selection tool now the shortcut key for the sub selection tool is a and uh, see and uh, b selection tool shortcut key is v right so if you press your keyboard uh, i mean the key a so you can select without selection you can select this tool so i'll select one by one v and then a by pressing v key and a key right so that is the shortcut key to select the, the those tools so now i'll show you the benefit of these tools so let's say suppose i am going to draw one random shape right so four lines i have drawn here now i can fill the object so i'll press v so let's see see so selection tool basically used to uh, change your straight line i mean change the shape of your lines right so if you mouse over to the specific line you can change the shape if you move your mouse uh, over to the corner angle corner angles right so you can change the angle as well uh, if you want to select the specific color area so see this is how you can move it uh, in one layer if i'll overlap the fill color area and this lines so this is how i can cut my lines right i'll drop this selection now both the objects are overlap and if i'll select again the color area and i'll just move it so you can see that the back part is removed that overlap line is removed so this is how you can cut your shape as well uh, if you want to select this portion of the line right so you can and you can also turn it out and curve it right so this is basically the selection tool see so many lines you have so specific lines you can select with the help of control key you can select the multiple lines shift key see and i'll uh, if two lines i want to select so with the help of shift key and select the specific line you can also see you can select the multiple line and you can move it right and many more things you can do with this okay so this is the selection tool now i will show you the benefit of the sub selection tool see the sub selection tool if you select the sub selection tool and if you select the element so you can see that your object is completely changed 
so instead of black color line you will have the green color line and in that you will have this nodes right and the lines so uh, with this mm, nodes and the lines uh, specific nodes if you want to add right see in squ in square shape we have a uh, four nodes a uh, four corner angles right but since i have cut my object right so instead of four angles i will have uh, this one two three four five and six angle right so six angle and the lines are like one two three four and five right so i can say the five lines and uh, six nodes i have in this uh, shape right you can't do anything with the uh, uh, fill color area uh, with the help of sub selection tool so sub selection tool is basically to uh, select the node and change the angle right so this is how you can select the node you can see that if suppose i want to select this corner area right so if i'll mouse over to uh, this co uh, corner this node so you can see that uh, uh, after the pointer you will have the node sp small tiny node symbol so that means you are on the point of that node and if you click so you can select that node so you can change the shape uh, if i want i can see if i want i can see since uh, this is the curve line no? so i have the curve tool right so that i can change my shape and if i want i can join it with this node right see so now this object is filled now i'm trying to fill the color i'll change the color i'll select the paint bucket tool let's pick the red color and i'll fill the area if your shape is not complete it's incomplete uh, the edges are open and if i'm trying to fill the color you are not able to fill the color right so this is the important uh, part of the flash that if you want uh, to fill the color right so the object should be closed right so if you are not sure that uh, your object is closed so you can use a sub selection tool or using zoom tool if you want you can zoom zoom in and now you can select your nodes right and try to join this lines see right now i can change the curve line in any of the directions got it so this is how you can use your selection tool and your sub selection tool suppose if you want to add the node right in between these two nodes right these two nodes and the straight line so i'll just mouse over to this line and i'll press mm, my control key is not working mouse is not proper mm. okay so 
this is how you can use the sub selection tool fine so that's it for today's session we'll meet soon in the next session